Good morning and welcome to DDO Wiki Talk with your host Technical13, aka Shoemaker. Had a little bit of technical difficulty getting started this morning. My um, headset audio wouldn't connect to my computer, so I had to do a restart real quick. But we're up and live now. Let's get loaded in here. We're going to do a giveaway at 50 viewers today for 500 EDO points. It looks like they've, um... Good morning, Sir Smashed. There we go. Get that stuck in there. Looks a little weird to me, but it, it'd be all right. All right, so we're in the wiki. We've got update 42 coming up, but let's go online here. All right, now we're live. Oh. Update 42 isn't live yet. The um, it's supposed to be out next week. Next, next Wednesday, in fact. Didn't we used to put the release dates in the what's new table? Guess not. I thought it was there at one time. Good morning, Cracknot. Welcome. All right, so what do we got going on here? Recent changes. Let's refresh that. Let's grab our special pages. See if there's anything there to do. Three uncategorized categories, it's kind of high. Usually, it's supposed to be one. Mulgrave University students and 13th anniversary party giveaway cake. I gotta find categories to put those categories in. <sighs> Meh, whatever. Two wanted templates. What are the wanted templates today? CDR and chilling. What's CDR go to? What's chilling go to? It's a new... They both have a chilling effect. Do either one of them have a... Screenshot? No. I don't know what chilling is in order to create the template, so that'll have to wait. CDR is used from this one. Community loot list items. So it's pulled in from another page. I don't know what CDR is supposed to be.
There you go. That works, Mr. Smash. note in that had a rough night yeah I went to bed at 5 a.m. it's uh 9 a.m. now actually got about three hours of sleep coffee is brewing all right let's head to recent changes let's see what's happened in the last couple weeks now we get that to patrol We got that to patrol. We got that to patrol. Wow. You know what much has happened in the last couple weeks? All right then. Force will come down again once the ambush is over or if all players hide from the monsters. Hiding from just stops the gears turning and you just turn the gear lever again. Force will come down again once the ambush is over or if the lever resets. Lever resets if no player is standing on the floor for too long. That looks like a good, good edit. Yes, coffee. It's brewing. That wasn't my technical difficulty, though, this morning. Optional red named Null Wizard always spawns at a screen rate and do up with 400 or 500 damage. How's it going, Foley? I think we could word that better. So that just wasn't... Wasn't done. Okay. I don't know why that's the top though. We'll move it down to the bottom. Yeah, I didn't get much either. So that's something I haven't talked about in a while. Oh, I bet that's why they did it. Okay. I am, um, I'm that tier. Dungeon, Dungeon Alert Purple. 
Tier 5, baby. All the way. Alright, so... If you're an editor, and you have specific things about your talk page or about you that you'd like to emphasize on your talk page, you can add what is known as a page um, a, a page header at the top of the page. Yeah, we can take a look at that in just a second. So, on my page, I have... Hello, welcome to my talk page. If I post on a talk page, please respond there. I'll be watching it for a while. If you start a conversation, I'll reply here unless you request otherwise here or on your talk page. So please watch this page. You can click the button to start a new topic at the bottom of the page if you need to. Which is actually... Ah. And then there's this user signs posts, donations, and then strict policy against personal attacks. I could actually add a fourth one. Um, and I need to add some linking to that, but... And that'll just make those go away when you click on them. So how do you do that? Um, that I need to remember. Um, edit user talk slash I can't even remember what it's called anymore. And there's not an edit link for those. I need to do a special prefix index. We'll figure it out in a second. That is called edit notice. So if you go to user page slash capital E edit notice, right? You can actually add something like this to the page. You should actually add user talk edit notices. And that should actually be a no include. Save page. Edit notices, there should be a category for that. And that should be part of... Yowiki Meta? Is that a thing? No. So yeah, I got some new um, emotes for my for my for my page there. Wiki meta. There we go. Yeah, but I think the um, image pop-up should be a lazy load. They don't load unless you hover over them. But I'll have to look into that. And if it doesn't work that way, I should make it work that way. Ah, 
Ah. So I can't edit any of those. I wonder why that was there. Oh, because it has a note about that. Right there, okay. So that one's not actually... So, I'll include category user talk edit notices. Save page. Alright, so screenshot of the week. I mean... Oh, okay, that's why. It only loads each image once, I think. So let's find out. Does it load each Im image once? Or does it load it twice? So yeah, it loads each one once. It just loads the big version and then downsizes it. No, oh, it maybe it is doing both. 300p 360px and a 900px. Okay, so it is loading them all twice. It should only load them once. And I should use that for both.
I mean, you could break it up, but it's still going to put it all on one page at, at, at the end of the day. Because you could break it up by page, and then it's going to transcode each page. So I need to figure out how to write a JavaScript that will only load the 900px version for each image. Downsize it into the 360 spot. I mean, they're... They're all less than one megabyte. They're all they're all tiny little itty bitty things. So looking at it, it's all key KBs, less than a hundred KBs a piece for the most part. The biggest one I've seen so far is ninety-seven KB. So the images aren't very big. Biggest one is 341 KB. So yeah, it is taking almost 15 seconds to load the whole thing, the whole page. But I mean, I don't consider 15 seconds that bad. I don't know. Um, I'll look into making it only load the big version.
We can do something like this. I, I, I think this is a little complex for what we need. Not quite what we need. I'll have to modify it a little. But we'll throw this. We'll throw this over here for now. And I will take a look at that after. Um, for now, what we can do... Have it link internally to pull from a set number list work? I don't know what you're talking about. Like we do for items. I still don't know what you're talking about. What do we pull for items? That's a DPL query, and no, we can't do something like that. There's no category for these. It's not set up to work that way. If I'm understanding what you're asking, it doesn't work that way.
if you're on this page Prince, that's correct maybe it's just because I'm in a preview If collapse is true, then collapse it. Oh. It's collapse, not collapsed. There we go. This information right here is already here. He's a red named that always spawns. And he's a null. The only part we're missing is that he's a wizard. Does that work? No. So it was almost 15 seconds last time. Let's see what it takes.
stays the same. Moving it out doesn't change a thing. Even moving those 121 pi pictures out to its subpage still took almost 15 seconds. So it doesn't matter if we move them out. What I need to do is figure out how to only load each image once and lazy load them. So, altogether it's loading 1260, a 1260px 1260 image, basically, for each one. So I could knock out oh, a quarter of that time by loading it only once as a 900. And then lazy loading them will just make that much faster. using image pop-up, right? So, template image pop-up. This is what I need to work on. this section of this template. Actually, if it's external, I need to work on all of this template. I need to break this template up and work on it. Um, yeah, I, gotta, I, I can't even read it myself right yet.
if equals IO one this otherwise do this. This, otherwise, do this. That cleans that up a little bit with sort of those switch cases. All right, so I changed it from saying switch, if it's one on true, why or yes, do this, otherwise do that, to if equals IO, one, and IO is actually a template that we created. That will take any... So if it says, it 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 looks at it, and if it's empty dash zero n no off f false, then it returns zero. Otherwise, it returns one. Basically, it looks for a, a, a explicitly false condition. It looks for something explicitly false. And if there's nothing explicitly false, then it returns true, which is a one, it returns a one. Makes it a little bit more hardy. So if it's not explicitly false, then assume that it's a, a true. So. Place this with if equals, we threw in an IO, we put in the closing brackets for the IO, we eliminate all of this, we eliminate that. So that changes nothing. Okay. So it changes nothing visual, but um, feel free to join me in the Discord if you want. It is open. Um. Hello. Hey, how's it going? I gotta turn you down a little bit. Uh, 200%. Let's try cutting you back to 100%. See how that works. Alrighty. That's still loud. Yeah, I'm usually a lot louder. <laughs> there, 15% sounds about right. So yeah, if I knew how to page it out, so it would take the screenshot of the week table of contents out, 
and it would like load that image from that table contacts number, I would have done that, but I don't know how to do that. Uh, that I don't think that can be done in that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still ultimately it's still loading everything on one page. Mm -hmm. Unless we make it so that people have to visit six different pages to see them all and I'd, and I'd, and I'd rather have them all on one page in the end so I gotta find a way to make it so that that one page will load more efficiently without making people navigate all over the place well I was thinking like okay so we have the table of contents there right that's on a separate page okay that's that's already on a separate page and I already moved out um everything pre-121 and even moving those out it didn't change the load time at all for the main page because it's ultimately transcluding them in loading them in hmm. so it, it, it's a it's a something i have to modify javascript side uh, yeah because i'm looking at that code the only thing i understand is that if equals statement <laughs> yeah i don't even understand half of it and i wrote it or originally so what's that thing the the devs said on ddo none of the devs left any notes about their code yeah that's that's a common thing it, it's it's actually fairly hard to leave dev notes in code on wiki because of the way that wiki, wiki pages load mm -hmm. you can you can put them in comments but it, it it's pain and it's not always Clear cut. Right. All right. So now that I trim that out a little bit, actually, that's probably where we need to work. I need to trim this template down some more. I bet most of the page load time is tr is transcluding all the the template calls. Oh, for each individual image, huh? I bet it's not the images themselves. I bet it's it's the parser on the wiki side loading the templates. The parser. Yeah. I have no clue what that is. It 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 turns this this template code mm -hmm. into HTML before it puts it on the page. Right. So I bet it's the part on the ser on the wiki server itself that turns this code back into in, into html before putting it on the page that's taking the longest uh, yeah because i have experience in c sharp and c plus plus but that doesn't translate into web code so you'd be surprised it's yeah, not no. that it's not that different yeah that's why i can understand like the if equals statements the hidden code lines, the equal equals stuff and all that, but after that I know nothing, because our teacher, I took it as a senior year class, so I never got into it. So I got, like, just oh. the skim of it. <laughs> you just need to know what the basic and what the magic words are. Yeah. So, anything that's wrapped in, in triple curly braces, right? like what I just highlighted, that will take a second to come through on the screen, yeah, the brackets. So you take the the triple squirrely brackets. Anything in there is a, a is a perimeter passed in from the template. Okay. So. You had to make tutorial videos. You know that. Well, that's what this series is all about: making, teaching people how to edit the wiki. Right. But I mean, like, post them on YouTube, and that like, this is how you make this wiki page do this. That, cause that's what the series is all about so i know i'm just saying it's like when i go through the arc i just try to figure out i'm looking for this but what yeah i need to index it I, I need to highlight an index i know but with almost what two and a half yeah. years worth of videos yeah it's um it's hard it's hard to index all that and i have i have a whole bunch of videos i haven't even uploaded yet yeah if I knew what you were doing, I'd uh, help you, but I have no clue. 
even after watching him, it's like, uh, what? Almost well, some fun times trying to figure out what you're doing. Ask questions, absolutely. Like I said, that's the whole purpose of this. So if, if I get questions, I can explain better in those areas. Okay. All right, so let's see if we can figure this out here. Span class has tooltip. Should I add another class to that? So what it's doing now is essentially trying to pull the template for each image, correct? Yes. Okay. I was wondering what it was doing. Yeah, because I go and edit that page every week, and I'm adding an image to it, and I'm just going off of what was already there. And you're also adding a template. Right. So... Because uh, if you look at the edit, there's those uh, triple bracket things when I do it. And I just leave it there and just suck to the image itself. But I don't know if that's... So one third, one third of our load time is um, parser, wiki parser actually trying to parse it out. So 3.6 seconds of that is wiki side trying to parse out all those templates. Mm -hmm. I actually got quite a ways to go before we hit the ex post expand include size limit. Okay. Which means what? Templates stop loading. Ah, uh, okay. Once you hit that, that threshold right there, that limit, it'll stop loading templates. Alright, so... Let's inspect the element. Let's see if we can figure out how this works. So here's our tooltip, has tooltip, float right, ahref, image. So I need to start with the has tooltip. By the way, uh, the left side of the thing's not showing. Left side of the thing, you mean, um... Yeah, where you're looking at the... Yeah, it's behind my bo chat box. Yeah. I can't really do much about that. I wish I could flip this over to the other side, but I can't. I don't think I can. Nope. Okay. Um, actually, can I do something about that? I know you can, uh, edit... The thing in uh, Steam Labs, the where it like shrink the uh, width wise a little. I could do this. Dock left, dock right, yeah. Then I gotta stretch it out like this. Yeah, I don't want that there. Easier. There we go. And I really don't care about that right there. So okay, so this is what I'm doing. I'm looking at this. So we have a has tooltip. Well, looks like it's trying to load it three times. No, it loads it twice. It has has tooltip. It loads it once here, and then in the tooltip itself, it loads it again. So it loads it once at 240 by 150, and once at 600 by 375. Right. Yeah, because I just up, upload the image to the 240 because it doesn't allow me to upload it to 600. Because it auto does it itself. Oh, interesting. So it it, it based so, on based on the width of the screen, it either loads the three sixty or it loads the four eighty, and then it loads the nine hundred or the twelve hundred, depending on your zoom. How does that work? You got me, bub.
So is it quad loading then? Well, no, it only loads one of the, each images. So it only loads twice. But it's picking which image based on something. Hey, Melanie, how's it going? So if I change the... We're trying to figure out why the wiki, the screenshot of the week's uh, loading so long. If I... 15 seconds. It would still load twice. I could... I, what if I shrink the... the, the the um, hover image. I don't think that would solve it because it's still loading it twice, ain't it? Well, if I, if I, if I, so the thumbnail is 240. Right. That's what we've defined. It's got a 1.5x for 360 and a 2x for 480. So if I load the other one at 480, maybe it'll just load the 480 for both of them. If it's got something in common, maybe it'll just load the one. Maybe. I don't know. I know nothing about JavaScript or in any of this. Or I could bump the thumbnail up to 300. I don't want to do that. Yeah, because then I'd have to go back and... Well, no, that it, it won't change anything you have to do. I can do it all in one shot. Right. On my end. The way that I have it set up, I can do it all in one shot. That means there's already a script running in the background that's lazy loading. To some extent. SRC set. So if we set it to where it's only loading the one image and then we have it, if we have them click instead of hover to load it, what if it brings it to a new page to load it to the actual image like we do on the well, other pages? I don't want them to click to load it. I mean, like if, we're gonna, if we're going to click to load, then we might as well just get rid of the hovers. That's what I was thinking. Get rid of the hovers and just have them click to view a larger image. We can, but I don't want to do that. Well, it's one option. Alright, so I change width change width width equals three hundred. So let me chop all this out. Something you can't see for a second. I'm gonna pull up my um notepad plus plus. I'm going to Copy and replace all in one shot really quickly. Make the hovers a 480 just to see what happens. All 309 were replaced. Close this. Paste it back in. Show changes. So you'll see that all of the 600 widths were replaced with 480. We'll... And we crashed the wiki. Great. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it did not like that. Well, how far did it get to? I don't know. So 
Now I gotta wait for the wiki to re reboot. Oh, no one crushes the wiki like Shu. It's true. Nobody crashes a wiki but you. Polly told you on me friend list. Um, I'm on your friend list. On Twitch. So you, so you, so you, so you followed me on Twitch. Awesome. Probably. Now let's see if the wiki's reloaded on my end too. Loaded on my end. You're probably looking at a cached version. More than likely. Yeah, it's cached. Okay, so it's working in Firefox for me. Yeah, that's what I'm in, is Firefox. So what I need to do is... Pull the page that way. All right, let's take my browser down for a second and restart it. I am on Kenneth. I do have a, a character named Shoemaker on Kenneth. Oh, you said he's. Oh, I get what you're saying. He's. So he added you on his friends list on Kenneth. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm picking up on. I haven't played on Kenneth in a while. Actually, that's not true. I played last week on Kenneth on Friday night. I played with um, Dragamora LOL. Yeah, I still got uh, uh, summon pets I'm trying to trade in that, those little uh, companions. Yeah. I'm trying to get rid of those, so if, for shards, if anyone uh, wants them, I'm getting rid of them all on other servers. I haven't used them, I've only used them on Saralona, so. Melny. Its name sounds familiar. Um. Trying to remember, trying to remember, trying to remember. It was a long time ago. Um, are you in Zerg? Or what's the other one? You might even be in... in um, I can never pronounce his name right. Nervjin? Nervjin? Yeah, I, like I said, I have no idea how to pronounce it. Another wiki editor. I can't remember. Um, oh, what was that clan guild? Clan McCloud. Uh, Polish. Uh, Polish clan. What was the name of it? I don't remember. I don't remember the name of it. I know there's a guild on Saralona called Clan McCloud. I don't know if they're Polish. Blood Rage. Probably Blood Rage because I've never heard of Sword and Zyrum. Alright, so did it actually save that edit? Um, it did. It did. Good. Alright, so... Well, that loaded instantly. Wherever you did, it worked. So 
So the first ser four seconds are server side. And then there's about 11 seconds still loading images. So that didn't help much. Let well, me duck to the bottom so I can see. Well, I just tried to read loading the wiki page for that, and it's like instant. Not loading in 11 seconds. So now it's loading 720s and... Wait, is it only loading 720s? No, it's just that they're all mixed in there. So it's, it's loading 720s and 360s. So I still need to figure out how to do that. Okay. It, it's a little, a little bit less that it's loading. Right. Because it's loading 720px images instead of 900px, which should theoretically be a little bit smaller. But, man. Which I don't understand how that's much of a quality image improvement other than I know that 720 is HD or standard one of the two standard 1080 is HP right I that makes a pop up really small which is fine yeah let's it's eliminate the pop ups Yeah, sorry about that, Shu. No, it's fine. Because I didn't know what was causing it or what, and it's like, it just it, the snowball getting worse and worse. All right, so I'm going to ch chop all this out, bring it into Notepad so that I can replace them all in one shot. And I need to do a replace... To do a regex replace. All right, so I need to look for slash slash. Slash D star. Comma, five digits. Actually, that can be a star. It doesn't matter. Backslash in front of that. Backslash in front of that. I need a backslash in front of that. I need one in front of that. So it's going to be dollar one. I am going to grab this. This and slash 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 throw that in there.
Put that in there. Okay, so let's test it out here. Find next, find next, find next. Okay, good. Replace. Replace all. Can I just say Notepad++ plus plus is one of the best free softwares for coders? Yep. Can it run just about any code pack? Pretty much. And the other thing I need to do is I need to edit screenshot of the week template. So let me grab the that we're on week 414 already yep cool can i get those set there so i don't have to go in there and remember it all <laughs> That's my alarm for your show, by the way. There you go. Except I can't fall asleep, so, well, that's useless. Alright, so the other thing I should actually add is I should add thumb. Yeah. We'll just go with that. See if we crash the wiki again. <laughs> Leroy, wiki crasher. No, didn't 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 happen. Well, time to see what its uh, speed is. Well, I can't edit that. All right, so I got to bring that into here. You won't see this next part. This next part's where I'm gonna just is just gonna be where I'm eliminating the um the pop up the pop up from the temp the substitution template. Mm -hmm. So the old uh, template that was in there was just pretty much uh, was an old template. I was pulling the other images, right? Instead of what we're using now. Or am I confusing something? Um, images are pulled by the wiki itself. Oh. All right, so we've trimmed that one out. Yeah, because before we were doing the. Uh, Substitute, screenshot, week number, description, text, and then cut that twice. Alright, so how long does this page take to load now? Nearly instant, and that's with me trying to click the edit. <laughs> okay, so... Control R. Well, no way, chicken dinner. So, 2.1 seconds total? Yeah. That's respectable. Really respectable. Especially considering how many images are on there. They're all tiny images. And, I, and like I said, I don't think it was the images that was causing the issue. It was the double load. I don't even think it was a double load. I think it was the template itself. Hmm. Either way, the, it's fixed. The, the extra pop-up code. Right. Well, sucks we had to get rid of it, but... 
the health load time. I'll work on that later, making it so that the image pop-up template lazy loads. Instead of insta loads. And only loads the image once. Actually, I can just make the pop-up image lazy load. So yeah, we'll do that. Alright, so... Now that we've got that cleaned up, what else we got going on this week? How do I uh, clear the cache for the wiki? I forget. Server side or, or client side? Uh, my side. <laughs> um, on Firefox, Control Shift R. I actually have a page on that on Wiki. It's called DDO Wiki Bypass Your Cache. So for Firefox, it's um, you can either hold shift while clicking reload, press control F5, control R, or command R on a Mac. In Chrome, it's control shift R, or command shift R on a Mac. In Internet Explorer, it's control refresh or control F5. In Conqueror, it's just F5, a reload. In Opera, you actually have to go into Tools Preference to clear the cache. Yeah. I which, know why I never use Opera. Which might be outdated. You know, might not be that way anymore. Who knows? I've never heard of it when using it. If I was on, if if I was a wizard or a shoemaker, you're talking seven years ago, eight years ago. That was my first life as a Pale Master on that character. Kind of funny, the last time I played a cleric would have been 2010, 2011. Yeesh. And I've been playing DDO a long time. <laughs> so this is a DD Wiki talk show. We just edited the wiki here. Um, I have gone to Lamania a couple times on DDO Wiki to gather information. Um, other than that, it's just just wiki editing. Um, next week I'll be doing shoe cobbles. And I believe I'm 1920-ish, and it's on Sarlona. All right, so what else we got going on? So our DDO screenshot of the week, we actually cropped out 21K worth of template. Jesus. Well then. <laughs> we we we, elim we well we eliminated 36k um 36 bytes from um image pop-up template. Right. Which doesn't seem like much, but when you're loading it 400 times on a page or 121 414 almost 300 times. So we'll say 295 times 36. That's 10k, 10.6k. So that was another big chop from the page. So altogether, we eliminated 31. Yeah, we eliminated quite a bit. Well, at least that's fixed. For now. Until I yeah. until it until I mess with it again. Right. All right. And so. Get another thirty second load time. <laughs> and it's like, hey, shoot, come fix. It's only taking fifteen seconds for me to load. So, 
That might be your par partially your internet connection. I'm on cable with a 10 meg down. Yeah, I got a 100 meg down. Or not 10 meg, it's... I'm running close to a gig, actually, but it's like... <sighs> Wi-Fi, yay. Ah, so you're being limited to 53, 53 with, by the, by the um, Wi-Fi. Or 112 yeah, just... if you're on a double. I'm on 5G. I'm on a 5G line. That or band on mine. I gotta upgrade my router anyway. I still haven't figured out if that uh, Duco guy is an actual Raren Barovia or not. Who? Uh, I updated him uh, within the last two days. Nah. D U K O or D O K U, something like that. He's an NPC that spawns at best. Doru? Yeah. Doku or, yeah, him. Because he spawns a chest, but he doesn't tick a rare in there for me. I don't know what it is. I don't know if there's a certain. Like, you have to talk to him a certain way or not. But in the I, basement of the chapel in the village of Barovia. Yeah, he's, like, right outside the tavern. You go straight and you see that first graveyard. If you're running towards the castle, he's off to the side of that. He's yeah, down in the basement. I've never really run through the explorer area out there. I always just teleport through all the quests. Well... Okay, so if you look at the tavern and you follow that road to the left as you come out the tavern and run straight towards the castle following that road, you'll run right into the cemetery. It's that first tavern as you get into Barovia. The Blue Water Inn or whatever it's called. And this is why I don't run around right here. This map is huge. Oh, it's not that big when you actually get out there. Village of Barovia. Okay, right there. So, where the tavern is, that where that little circle is, if you follow that road straight to your uh, to the castle, which is on your left on that map, but it's actually... Sh uh, straight as you come out of the tavern. There's a guy that sits right where Irene Journal number three on the top sat. If he's standing there, then the guy's usually down there, but he never takes off a rare for me. I don't know if he's an actual rare or if you've got to a certain thing, because he has, because when you beat him down to a point, he'll stop attacking you for a little bit. Yeah, right there. And he'll, he'll ask you... Well, you he's not marked on the map, so... Well, he's there, but he's not. He's in the basement. He's in a... He's one of those... Uh, it was kind of like the... Uh, the... Geo 6 chain. In that, where they had the... Um, the rares inside the caves, he's exactly like that. Except he's in the basement of the church. But the wiki says he's a rare. But I've never had him take off a rare on me. But it gives you two options, though. It's like, sure, I'll end you now, or no, I can't do this. I don't know anything about this map. Let's see here. What are those purples and yellow dots? Random Shrine, Grave Mist, Spider Nest. Uh, those are uh, teleport things also, potentially. Usually they're uh, the little hands in that. But sometimes you get spiders out of them. It's a great way to get spiders if you get a full group. They usually spawn about ten little hands. <laughs> I'll have fun. to go out there sometime. I suppose I should go out there and run around 
the area. Oh, it's big, but, it, like, it's gloomy and boring, but it's, like, if you go out there and just, like, run around, it's interesting. You'll find little Easter eggs here and there. Only crappy part is you uh, run up to some areas that are supposedly a explorer zone. Yeah, you can't actually access them. Like, yes, they're here, all you can't run into. Uh, the ruins of Burrs, just south of that, there's a wall there. The mountain you can't run up. Maybe I'll do that with Sam sometime. Say, hey, Sam, you know what we've never actually done together? Like, run through and got all the journals in Ravenloft. Maybe next life we'll do it. Or level... This. We're level 18 okay. now, I think. 17, 18. Right. So we're just about to TR, but maybe next life we can run through. It doesn't give great experience in heroics. It's better to do it in epics. But it's a great place to run around. Especially in a full group. <laughs> yeah, he gives you two uh, uh, options. So... I'll have to look but, into him and, and get some information. But I did put his epic CR there, so I don't know his heroic because I've never found him in heroic. No, you did it right. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I just guess it's like, oh, it's all lowercase in that on that, so copy paste epic done. Yep. So he's technically a legendary, but. <laughs> What do I care? Same thing as far as the wiki's concerned. Yeah. Alright, so... What was I going to do? I was going to go and... I'm actually thinking about uploading a few GIF images. Can I do that? I don't remember if I limited, restricted that or not. I didn't know the wiki could handle it. Yeah, we can do GIFs. Okay. We can do PNGs, JPGs, and GIFs. So I'm gonna make some GIF images. I'm guessing only certain uh, tiers can upload those. Nope, anybody can. Hmm. Noted. They they gotta they gotta fall within the um the size limits, but anybody can upload a GIF. Makes sense. I'm thinking of um creating some GIFs for puzzle solving, like tile puzzles. Right. So, turn, 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 solved. Yeah, because that would be actually helpful for, like, certain raids that have those. Like, the, uh, uh, the Vaughn raid with the puzzle. I think we actually uh, do have a couple GIF images. For example, in the Crucible. I think the Crucible page actually has a GIF image that shows you how to solve the, the maze. I just did it by memory. I didn't know it had a GIF. I don't know what it sent a friend of mine here. I actually believe there's two GIFs for that one. Different different ways of looking at it. There might even be more. Pop. 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 Hey, Forehand, welcome. Sounds a PNG, JPEG. I thought one of these was a GIF. It actually flipped the doors. Got me, Mac. All right, now I have to Google it, because I know I saw a GIF for that. DDO Crucible Maze GIF. This Images. Is those, this is one of those things where you hope you're not going senile. No, I'm pretty sure I'm senile, but that's not relevant. <laughs> Well, if you're still learning code, I don't think you're senile, buddy. Oh, 
Open a new tab. What's this one? Looks it on photo bucket. By Samus Grobo. Jesus, that's an old image. That one's a JPEG. Yeah, I still don't know how we got all the maps. Uh, that's a PNG. From way back in the day. No, I'll just create them. The same way we create them now. How? <laughs> I don't know how. Oh, it's not hard. You just take screenshots, clip it. Oh, look, it's Kim. All right, so I am going crazy then. I know I saw an animated GIF for that. I bet it was on the forums. Might have been. Let me see if there's a forum post on this at the bottom of the page. There's no external links. Why are... Oh... That's, that's atrocious. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you want me to get rid of them? Nope. I'll do it. Like, boom, shakalaka. <laughs> Named items category. Category equals the... Crucible loot. Boom, single table. <laughs> Alright, so now that we got that sorted out, you can now see it's it's now a, a, a table, a sortable table, mm -hmm. sorted by min-level by default. So you can look at all the level 11s, the level 12s, 13s, 14s. Wait a minute, what's the 14s? Why are there 13s and 14s? Okay, that's that's right. There's 12s on normal. What are the 11s then? Things that don't fall anywhere else. Oh, historic. Historic. His, historics. Yep. I thought I had some of those. <laughs> I had the old backstabber gloves on my robe. <laughs> It may be junk, but they're level 11 junk that's useful to me. <laughs> I wonder if I can do something about that. That reminds me. The uh, ethereal gloves that drop out of... Uh, uh, what is it? Bargain? No. Uh, the Drought Quest out in Sands. What's the name of it? Bargain of Blood or something? Yeah, um... No. Bargain of Blood's the, uh, Sentinel's chain. I can't remember the name. They got so many quests now. Anyway, the gloves that drop out of there that are supposedly historic, still drop. I know. 
They only drop in certain chests, though. Is that by design, though? Or is that an error? Oversight. And they just don't care to fix it. They know about it, they don't care. Alright. I didn't know if that was an exploit that I've been using too long or what. <laughs> Alright, so I can actually filter those out. Do I want to filter those out? Probably. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, just because then it's like, if you have an old version, you can look it up. But it no longer drops in the Crucible, and the purpose of these tables is to show things that currently drop. So not category, history. The sad part it is, is I could do monotonous stuff like this all day. I just don't have to drive. <laughs> is there a way to get only the history items? Not with my current implementation. Oh, it's a category match. That part is, is I'm groggy right now and I cannot have coffee because it will put me to sleep. I'm one of those weird people who can't have coffee when they're sleepy. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Category match. Okay, how did you add those tab things again to your page? That's a whole system. Um, give me a second and we'll do that. So let's see here. What if I duplicate this and put the history stuff at the bottom? With... Crucible loot and history. Will that work? One way to find out. Crash the wiki! Yeah, it lived. No results. The story so, of pages actually left a survivor. So I can't do and Apparently, I can't do that. <sighs> mm. 
me try. All right, did that work? Ow. Uh, nope. Did not. Okay. It's all right. We'll just leave the historic things out. Oh well. You gotta ask how long is your to do page on the wiki? <laughs> pretty long and I haven't updated it in quite some time okay so that that fixes that yeah it looks like they're still there on the bottom just not there on the actual page Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Not there. Elevens are gone. Let's see if I can find it on the forums. Forums. Login. Visible map. Would have been a really old post. They're still making posts about that? Yep. Okay. Crucible Jeez. swim. How do we do Crucible Maze? Hey, my show's actually updated. Woohoo. All right. 2007. When was the Crucible released? Oh. Cruc Crucible is part of Giant Hold, which was update... What update was that? I don't remember. I think it was after Monks. I remember that much. September 28th, 2007. All right, so be anywhere after here. Wait, when did you switch from doing modules to updates? When I started playing in 2009. So why are there posts about it dating back to 2007? Still there? Nope, that image is gone. Dun, dun, dun. It might have been on Photo Bucket and got deleted. Might have. 
because I still haven't gotten any of the new info for uh, the guild renown loss uh, numbers and that. Because otherwise, I would have updated my code for that and uh, shot it over to you. Then figure out how to implement it on the wiki for people. What's that? Oh, at one time I had a standalone renown calculator for uh, guilds. Oh, yeah? So what it did is it took all the information that's on the wiki, put it into a calculator, and it was like, okay, you lost, you have this many people in the guild, you're at this level, you lost this amount of renown per X amount of people per week, per year, per month, per day. And I put that all in a in a little pop out. Okay. Initially, but I don't know if the numbers are accurate or not. Um. There's not really decay anymore, so I don't think it matters too much. Right, but it, it doesn't matter until you hit 150 in that. Oh. Not that it matters, but it's like it was one of those things like. Hey, if you're level 150, this is how much you need to earn per day to stay at your level. There you go. You know. I mean, yeah. That was kind of like the whole purpose of the project, and then they kind of screwed me over. But, meh. Alright, like so here's, here's an image. I knew I saw animated GIFs for it. That one's hosted on Photobucket. Can I get a copy of it? Ah, it actually lives. The sad part is there's a ways to cheese that, and I'm not saying how. <laughs> Alright, so we've saved that one locally. I remember there being another one. That's not the one that I saw before. It's sad when you remember stuff the way it differently and then you find out, oh, it's that's the way it actually was. I hate those moments. So that one's not there. There might be an issue with that one. How much data is on the wiki anyway, total? Not a lot. It's actually really small. It's like less than 40 megs. Jesus. I could download the entire thing and store it on a thumb stick. Take that back, a floppy drive. Yep. Did they even make floppies still? Nope. God, I'm old. <laughs> I remember slapping a floppy disk into my computer to play, uh, what was it? Uh, Snake.
Okay, I got a question for you, Shu, because I can't remember off the top of my head. Was Capper experienced 4.2 mil, or was it still the 3.8 it is now? It hasn't changed. That's what I thought. First life is 1.9, second life is 2.4, third life is 3.8, and beyond. Right. And I swear, a, a friend of mine swears for the life of him it used to be 4.25 mil. Before they did that XP curve thing. That was for Epic. And level cap has changed since then anyway. Oh, yeah. Because I knew something was four point something. I just knew it wasn't heroic. That's what I got confused. Thank you. Hey, to, the, to the best of my knowledge, yes. Samus, didn't you have a, um animated Crucible GIF? No, 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 no. Get up, get up. Let's go. I found one, but it might not be accurate. There we go. Crucible Age Animation. Let's check that one. Is that the one I remember? There's a photo bucket, so it's, it's probably gone. Well, it's a link to the thing, so maybe... Same one. Yeah. It's accurate to how you do it solo or with a pet. I gotta f make one for uh, the Titan. I gotta get a group together and do that. Because that underwater maze is a pain. Especially if people don't know how to do it. Otherwise, you can two man it. You, a friend, and a summon uh, pet, <laughs> skeleton, dog, or otherwise. Getting frustrated? Nope. We're just running low on coffee. Watching the dots. I think I want to make my own. Redo it from scratch. Yeah, because that doesn't look right. I mean, it works. But it's not how I would do it.
I actually want to make two of them. I want to make one with two people. And one with solo with a hireling. Well, that's not much different, is it? A little bit. All right, because you D door out. That's right. Well, you can always teleport your your hireling to you to save time. Yeah, that too. Well, except for an I, but that's a different thing. I've just D doored out, but that's just because I'm playing a wizard usually. All right, so we got that one. Still not the one that I can remember seeing. I love not being able to find the ones that you remember. But we've got we got we got one now, so that's fine. Let's um. One's better than none, in my opinion. Do we know who's the IPs that keep editing the wiki? What about IP editors? IP editors are great. I love them. So, I don't mind them. It's just like some of them get undone. It's like, uh, who is this guy? Well, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind them editing the wiki. It's just like, uh, who are they? <laughs> Like, we want you to create yourselves, guys. <laughs> I give every incentive that I can. Yeah, edit away, man. Just make accurate edits. <laughs> Are we still having issues with that spammer on the wiki, or is he gone? Gone. Spammers, yeah. spammers come and go. Not the first wave of spammers I've dealt with. Is what it is. Mm Uh, Samus left us alone for 90 minutes. <laughs> or 90 seconds. Or 90 years. If I had a million years. <laughs> we are just dating ourselves, aren't we? I'd be a million years old. Anything happening on the wiki here? People complaining that DDO Wiki's server is dead. It, it is what it is. It's a wiki server. It's not supposed to be lively. It's wor for working on the wiki. And there are lulls in working on the wiki between updates. Yep. Like, I ask questions here and there, but that's just because I don't know what I'm doing. And I'd rather not break the wiki. So I leave, leave the editing to the uh, mods. <laughs>
A one attack. A one attack. All right, nothing special there. Home, yeah, we don't care. Special pages. All right, nothing new here. Welcome, Wanatook. No double redirects created, that's good. Still need to work on some scripts sometime to make these numbers go down. Either by filtering out stuff that shouldn't be counted or Fixing the root cause of them being counted in the first place. So wait, the wiki is hosted on your computer? The wiki itself is not, but the DDO bot for the, for the Discord is. So the bot that pulls all the information from the wiki to put it in the Discord is hosted on my computer. Uh. Oh, so that explains why it crashes every now and again. <laughs> it doesn't crash very often. Like I said, every now and again. <laughs> my computer's running 24-7. The only time it goes down is when we don't have an internet connection. <laughs> That's basically what mine is. Or I do a quick restart to purge out any memory leaks. Yeah. Like when I'm streaming, sometimes Exploit has memory leaks, or Twitch on Firefox has memory leaks, or whatever. Right. Well, that's one of those things, it's like, can't you just load uh, the DDL bot on uh, Linux? Or is that a uh, Windows only uh, thing? No, I could do it on Linux. But I'd either have to get a dedicated second machine. Or I'd have to put a, a VM inside of Windows. And it would still be affected by me having to restart my machine. No, I'm saying when you get your new PC, just uh, flash your current PC to Linux. Oh, um, when I get the new PC, I'll probably set this one up as a dedicated machine for the bots. Right. That way they're running separate, independently. Well, that's kind of what I feared you'd do. But I'd flash uh, the machine to Linux, that way when it's running the bots, it has little to no overhead compared to what uh, an Apple or a Windows would have. Eh, Windows doesn't have that much overhead. I mean, I probably wouldn't do command line Linux anyway. I'd, I'd do something with an interface, and by the time you add the interface, it's the same anyway. Not really. I would just get rid of the overhead things like um, running DDO and running XSplit and running browsers and whatnot. Yeah. Well, Windows has a lot of uh, has a lot of user compatibility things on it. I've got most of them disabled. I don't know, mine just keeps re-enabling for some weird reason. I keep disabling them, though. They want to re-enable themselves, but you have to you have to, you have have to, to resist and not click on the, the Fix All Issues button when it pops up. It thinks that they're issues, but they're not, because I don't want it. Don't want it! I don't know if I even hosted myself today. <sighs> I'm getting old. You showed up on uh, Twitter. I know that much. 
Did I? I think so. I'm hosted nice. on that channel. Oh, I Am I... You nope, you didn't post uh, Twitter. I know it auto posts on Twitter when I stream to my channel, but I don't think it does anything when I'm on well met. the other channel. Let's um, let's let's post a shoot you real quick. Okay. okay. So how do I add that well little met. tab thing that you were talking about at the start of your stream? Oh, my my user tabs. Yeah. So. These things. Well met. Yep. There, there are two ways to do that. Um, and we actually have a. Well met. We actually have a page on the wiki about it. If I can find it, it's a help page. DDO user page custom customization tabs. Okay, so how do I get tabs on my user page? I posted a link there in, in Twitch chat. You can either do it this way, goes through each of these instructions, or you can use template user tabs. So, so you create you user your username tabs top. You put this in it. Tab one, you put this in it. Tab two, you put this in it. Tabs bottom, you put this in it. Slash tabs, you put this in it. Tabs header, you create whatever tabs that you want. That one's a little bit more customizable. You can you can you can omit tabs that you don't want. You can add you know, if you have something different that you want to put in there, you can change any of those. You can have up to nine tabs, I think it is. More than what I'll need. And then on your on your user page, you put this at the top of the page. And then on each of the tab pages, like journal, sandbox, to do, etc., you put this code with an appropriate this number mm -hmm. for which tab you want it to be at the top of each of those pages. And then on your user tab, you do the same thing with whatever tab you want it to be. And that will create the tabs. Okay. Or you can use template user tabs. Which, just, uh... which gives you instructions on how to do it. So on your user page, you put user tabs, one name. On your talk page, you put user tabs, whatever number you want it to be name and then for each of the red links that it creates you just use user tabs number number, right. number name okay yeah I was wondering how you did that and that creates tabs that look like this Instead of the ones like the blue, basic blue ones that I have. Right. And it actually gives some examples. If you want to view source on those, it'll tell you. So user tabs, you know, one, name, 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 name. So what does it mean when it's red? There's nothing in there? There's, there's, there's no page for that. Okay. It's just a red link page. Ah, okay. Those are the default tabs. So, yeah. So, that's another option that you can use. Yeah, because I was going to add that to my page, but I didn't know what I was doing. So. so Yeah, it's mostly styling. You can either style them like this, or you can style them like, like mine. Which is actually not something I came up with it something that I am imported from somebody else I, I like the square tabs myself with the spaces I think it looks better mm -hmm. but some people like curvy round 21st century tabs 
That's fine. I cannot stand the new... Hey, let's make it look like it's meant for a phone tab. Um... Those just give me flashbacks, man. Oh. Nobody ever told Jerry about that. What? Tolab changed his name. It's not MTG Tolab anymore. What did he change it to? Top Hat Tolab. Mm. MTG Tolab changed his name to... Top Hat Tolab. Next time you update the splash screen. Oh, I put that in the wrong channel. Whoopsie. So, yeah, we get all these things too. I don't know how many of these user boxes you have on your page. Let's find I out. I don't got three. Which ones do you have? Let's take a look. Editor, VIP, and super user. Mm -hmm. Is that what you got? Yeah, that's what I'm signed under. Okay, do you have um? You don't have a Discord. I do, but it's not linked in there. Why not? I was getting to that. <laughs> that's why I was asking. On Discord. Oh, that's not the one I want. User Discord. I love the show preview button. Nope, that's not it. User space discord. There it is. How about YouTube or Twitter or... I got a Twitter, but um, my YouTube, I'm changing into a podcast. So... Because you can add your YouTube channel, you can add your Twitter for people to follow. Discord, yeah, override go default. Ahead and add them, I'll go and edit them. So. I just realized something I gotta do today. There's a cafe that it's a staple around here, but they're closing down after nearly seven years in business. So do you have a discord.me invite? Uh, not set up, but it, you can make one. Oh, let's see here. Dragon's Domain. Server settings, invites, mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, because the way I have it, or the way you set it up, it shoots them right into the tavern. All right, so let's copy this link. Really wish they'd fix that sometime. So it's... Right. Uh, more wiki-friendly. No, friendly, I mean. on the invites, they should have a copy button. You can click on it and copy. Alright, so there's that. That's your that's your invite to your Discord. Um, streamer mode. Enable keybind. Control shift S. said you had a YouTube? Yeah. What's your it's YouTube? Uh, Fully reviews. But okay. I'm rebranding. <laughs> what, what about your Twitter? Uh, same thing. One sec. That one? If it's got the same icon, uh, no, not even. You're not fully. I'm fully reviews. I'm getting it. Give me a sec. That one. Yep, that's it. So we can add user Twitter in there. Take a look at that one. There, so now we got... Yeah, needless to say, I'm not very PC. <laughs> Meh, whatever. There, DDO Wiki just followed you. Yay! DDO Wiki doesn't follow very many people, so... Hey, I'll take it. I ain't complaining, shit. Oops, my bad. My bad. <laughs> How about that? How does that look? Check out Foley on Discord. Good? Yeah, good. Looks good to me. Alright. Um, you said you had a YouTube, but it's not set up yet. Oh, it's set up. I'm rebranding. I'm getting it now. There's a YouTube one. Um, so goes to I'm a gonna... goes to a 404. Yeah, I'll get it. I'm DMing you now. You're MDing me. Uh, DMs. I'm still surprised I still get subscribers considering I haven't posted anything in over two years. But whatever. Subs are subs in my book. All right, so let's see here. On YouTube one, how does that work? User YouTube. I think it's channel equals or user equals if channel use channel otherwise if user use user How does that look? Okay, so we just need to add...
that. So I need to add the label as label. Check out if channel one. Is it two? Do I need to put a two hey, in there? Thor Smash created a uh, account. Yay, one person I don't want to worry about their IP. There you go. Thank you, sir. There. So now we've added Discord, Twitter, and YouTube to your page. Yeah, and now I just gotta organize it. <laughs> Let's actually put a line break in there between them. That doesn't look right. Yeah, you got that right. Maybe it's gotta go on another line. No, we just need to do this. That works. All right, add some line breaks in there. Looking good. Looks good to me, boss. Alright, what else are we going to do today? Well, if you're going to do anything, you got 18 minutes. 18 minutes. Brand new help. Insert non-formatted text here. New to edits vet status player for over 10 years. Okay, Sir Smash. So, are you still watching? That's a great first edit, by the way. Oh, yeah. Ah, no wiki, huh? Playing with the no wiki. So what's that uh, do anyway? What? The no wiki. It makes us that you can put wiki, wiki codes in source text and not have it parse it. Ah, okay. Kind of like a code tag, except the code tag doesn't doesn't do that. You have to have a no wiki. All right. So, what do you need help with? Do you need help setting up your user page? We're what, here to help, man. Let's set up your user page. Okay. So let's start with user. Since year 2019, month 5, day 8, and let's throw a user edit award in there. You've edited, you've, you've put in one edit. And 
that user enter word thing is easy to update. You, you just change the number. One. Yep, exactly that. So as your edits increase, you just increase the number. It's All right, so we're going to grab information from your talk page. That means you started playing somewhere in 09, dude. Same as me. I think a lot of people started playing when they added the free-to-play model. Yeah. I was uh, November 29th. There you go. You got something on your page now. Can you make it to 100? So now, you, in order to check how many edits you have when you want to update it, you just hit your contributions link up here in the corner. And it will tell you... What you edited. <laughs> Eventually. I'll check him. It'll tell you all your edits. So oh, you've got, so you've got, and... you've got this user has made one edit. So when you start getting a lot of edits, you'll find that this number isn't very useful. Or if you want to look for a certain number of edits, you can grab this list style thing up here, which will change these dots to numbers, except that it doesn't seem to be working currently. You also got another one for uh, V Henna. So if you go to Preferences, Gadgets, you can actually turn on a bunch of this stuff. I don't know what's on by default. Um, I'd turn on Code Anchors, Backlinks, Email Links, X Links, PP Indicators. I think that one's on by default. Actually, you know what? I should edit those to note which ones are default. I'm half tempted to go through uh, the users that don't have a page, so that way they don't show up red. Don't do that. I know, that's why I said I'm half tempted. Alright, so... Oh, I can't edit this page. Guess you have to go on your main. Or is the other stream an admin account? It is not. It is intentionally not an admin. Nice. Just in case you try and screw, just in case someone manages to get into it. Nope. Nope. Nothing to do with that at all. Uh, the purpose of the stream is to prove you can edit anything without being an admin. Uh, you don't need you don't need administrator tools. You can do anything that needs to be done. You just might have to ask for it on Talkpage. Until you get privileges. But there's certain things that even super users can't edit either, so. Okay. So, somewhere on this page. Hey, Bach, how's it going? Welcome to the show. And the only reason why I say I'm half tempted is because those red links, it reminds me of the pages that are like, oh, hey, there's something here that's actually in the game, but it doesn't exist. Meh. All right, so which ones are default? Let's see here. Default, default, default. X link is not. List styles is not. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to do this. I'm going to use my snipping tool, and I'm going to copy, snip that. And drag it to my other screen. For a minute, so I can see which ones are default while on the other tab. So we got code anchors, edit. We got Backlinks, email links,
PP indicators, NS shortener, search focus. Edit tools. I don't think any of the gadgets and test fades are. Our default. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be. Have we figured out if, uh, Fiddles are an orb, or if they're their own thing. What's that? Fiddles. They're their own thing. Okay. Category equals... Do we have a default template? For fiddles? Not that I know of. No, we do have a default template. Okay. Default. True. Mm. Not what I want it to look like, though. I want it to look like... Optional? Default? Yes, that's what I want it to look like. Save page. Save page. Save page. Save page. Save page. I have a question of time. Go ahead and ask your question, and if we have time, we will answer it. Otherwise, we'll, we should be back in two weeks for another DDO Wiki Talk, and we will answer it then. There. Now ones that are on by default say so. Excellent. What's the process to get the charm named items on the wiki? You have charmed named items? Just have to create item pages for them all. Yep. So in order to add an item, I've got most of them listed here from from Lamania, from the from the vendor there, you just click on a red link. And then, so that one's a belt. So what you'd have to do is, is gives you a blank page to work with. Is you want to create an item, Lamania, name, so you copy this template basically. Belt. Don't know what the cost is. Don't know what this is. Slot. Waste. Don't know what the durability is. Don't know what the material is. Don't know what the hardness is. I'm assuming it's fin level 15. I'm assuming that's the same. Enhancements. Who knows? So we're going to start with a basic for this. We're going to show preview, make sure that it's right. Looks good. There's now a page for the bronze dragon scale belt on the wiki. It's just a matter of somebody going through and adding each individual page, put in as much information as you have, even if it is wrong information. So sometimes on Lamania, there's stuff that's just not filled in yet or whatever. 
put everything that's there in. And then when it gets released live and somebody gets a live version, or we get an updated list of information about it, or you find it on the forums or whatever, you can go back and you can edit the page. And it's a lot easier to edit the page to correct information than it is to create a page from scratch. Yep. Because when you're creating a page from scratch, there's a, you gotta you got to get the template, you got to figure out all of the things that won't change you have to put in there. Like, it's, it's, it's going to be a belt. It's never going to change from being a belt. Yep, having the item would be best. Um, so if, if you pick it up from Lomania... I probably have a screenshot of it. But I don't I don't have time to crop out a screenshot and do all of that, but and then if you see something on the wiki that has this big Lamania box on it and there's a bug in the item you click on this link and it will take you right to the proper ticket on Standing Stone Games website to report a bug. You put in your email address, your subject, your description, all of this information. I'm actually going to make a Tamper Monkey script for this to, to default fill in some of these things. Um, but I haven't I haven't done it yet. Six days to release. Um, six or seven. I think it's supposed to be released on the 15th, so that would be seven days. But Biddle's got its own page, by the way. What has its own page? Biddle. It's got its thing with its uh, work in progress tab. There you go. Yeah, seven days, 15th. It's a whip. It's a whip. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, so it's just a, a blank page with work in progress. There you go. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's got nothing. So there you go. I think that's a pretty cool template, work in progress. When I'm editing the page, since you didn't actually define a name for who's going to be working on it, it goes with whoever last edited the page. Or if you're currently editing, it'll put your name in. That works. But if you're just looking at it, it's whoever last edited it. <laughs> I love that part. Right? I had thought it was announced that it was the 15th. No, it, on the on the link that was posted, it said it was the fourteenth. It's supposed to launch on the two on Tuesdays when they're bringing the servers down. Ah, assuming that it it passes. Yeah, so it's fourteenth. The quality 15th. test. Yeah, assuming we're not down for a week like, like they did the last time. Assuming it passes the um the the QA approval to put it up. Right. They'll do a test build probably the night, night before, and if it, if it passes, then it'll be up the 14th. If it doesn't pass, then they'll have to fix it, and it'll be up the 15th or 16th, probably. Yep. But, all right. So, yeah, 14th, assuming it passes. So we made it to 38 out of 50 viewers. We didn't quite hit our, our, our viewer goal, so no giveaway this week. Um, tune in next week uh, for Shoe cobbles i'm hoping to hit level 20 next week on the shoe cobbles build um and then we'll decide on stream if we're going to tr or if we're going to take it into epics um i'm probably going to have to go find some gear if we're going to take it into epics um so shoe cobbles starts at 8 a.m and ddo wiki talk starts at 9 a.m I have a, an hour gap there. I just can't do DDO Wiki Talk for four hours. So that one's three hours, and, and Shoe Cobbles is four. Um, just waiting for Quarter Van to say that he's ready to go, and I will pop off and give it to him. Thank you for watching. Have a great week.